you what's going on y'all it's jsmo reviews here back at it again with another video uh, as you can see bringing you guys today another book em, uh, a series where i take a battler i look at you know the next uh, long term you know patch of his career that he is coming up and i predict the the three to five next best matchups for him you know where i think uh would be good booking stock wise and skill wise so we try to keep it on the more realistic side what i can actually see getting booked and as you guys can see uh today we're doing k shine um Love K Shine, one of my personal favorite battle rappers of all time. Uh, I have not done a ton of K Shine content in this channel, um, but that is obviously going to change. And I, with right now, you know, him, uh, you know, his situation with URL looks like he wants to finish, get out of his URL contract, or it's breached, you know, whatever the, the case may be, it looks like K Shine will be leaving URL and exploring other battle ventures in other leagues. Uh, obviously, mentioned Chrome 23. Um, obviously, a URL rapper leaving RB automatically comes into the picture. So um, today we're going to go over uh, five matchups that I think K Shine could get that are all based for the most part off of URL. One of them is half and half that we'll get into in a second that, you know, I, I don't know if it'll happen because of URL rather than it can't happen off league. Um, but, you know, this is a super talent. This is a guy that in his last few battles looks like he's coming into his own once again. Uh, and one of the best performers of all time. So many things that you could say about him. So let's get into the matchups that I think going into 2023 are still viable and good looks for K-Shine. So starting off at number five, I do have Fonz. Now this is that half and half one that I talked about that obviously Fonz is a URL artist. So if URL, let's say Shine was to leave and they didn't want Fonz battling Shine off league, obviously this is probably something they could step in the middle of. But the rap committee has led to Fonz having, you know, uh, some pretty fair matchups on there. You know, most recently, although it was a one-rounder, he did battle Calico. So he is prone to getting, you know, a bigger look over there. And I think that it would be a good possibility for Shine to go over to the rap committee, battle Fonz. Obviously, this is a battle that's kind of been around in talks ever since Fonz won UM1 and called out K-Shine. Uh, he ended up, you know, Fonz ended up showing out versus Nitty, which is, if you've watched my Fonz book him, uh, you know, when I did a Fonz prediction plan, you know that I was not a fan. I did not think he was ready for that matchup, but he most certainly proved that he was, and I still always wanted him to battle K-Shine before that, and I still wanted him uh, to battle K-Shine now. Uh, just power puncher versus shine performer. I mean, it, it, obviously shine is primarily a performer, but there's so many other things that he can do in terms of just, just purely rapping, um, just the, the, his chain punching ability. So I just think it would make for a very good matchup. You know, maybe in that smaller rap committee type of room too, you get the energy that a Cal or a Fonz gave you uh, where maybe there's a little bit of preference at play. I know three rounds would be hard to swing, but even a one rounder, it's still a match that I personally want to see. And it's why I have this at number five. I, I will say everything from here on out, uh, pretty much for our artists that aren't really tied to URL for the most part either, uh, for what I know of, you know, under contract. So these are all matchups that I think are, are extremely realistic uh, in the future for Shine if he battles uh, off platform in 2023. So that leads to number four. And at number four, I have Rosenberg Raw. This is a matchup instantly people talked about. Uh, not that it's necessarily the most difficult, but I think that A, Rose is one of the bigger guys, you know, off URL. And then on top of that, there's that grittiness in Rose's delivery, that pure rap. And although the Bill Collector battle didn't turn out that good, I actually liked what Rose was trying to do. I think the mics just fucked him up and it fucked up his composure. Uh, but would love to see maybe that straight to it type of setting on RBE, Rosenberg versus K Shine. This is just a battle, like I said, Rosenberg's gritty. Obviously, is there anyone more uh, gritty and kind of evil with their delivery than Shine when he really gets on a roll? And I just think these are two guys that the way that their styles will match up against each other, whether you think Shine will win clear or not, I do think that there is a separation and skill there, although I do think Rosenberg is good. But even if Shine will win clear, I still think that you would get really good footage from this. I think Rose, similar to his Will battle, although Will, you know, choked, Rose still rose to the occasion with great material one of his better performances so give him another shot like this versus a shine and see if he rises to that occasion uh, again as well like i said particularly in a small room because if it's on a big stage i i do think shine would eviscerate rosenberg like i don't think it would be close there so i prefer straight to it type setting but either way i think it would be a good battle to book uh if shine does come over to rb next uh are the three you know probably biggest battles that i want booked when we talk strength of schedule um 
you know, type of big look and off of URL, which is like we said, you know, obviously with the recent things that have been going on, that's what the basis of this list is. And at number three, we have Big K. Now I've ran this uh, around a couple of people, you know what I'm saying, that I respect their battle rap opinions, and a lot of people aren't a fan of this matchup. I feel like the Big K stock is really down right now. So I don't know if this one would get booked or, you know, the likely however would go, but, you know, Ward, uh, Ward and Big K, I believe, will still be going down. That'll be a big opportunity for K maybe to win some people back on his side. But Big K is just one of the best off of URL, one of the best on RBE. His resume is that in terms of guys who... I mean, obviously, he's been on URL, but guys, in terms of guys who have primarily been off URL or, like, done it the other way, uh, for to start him, I think Big K is one of the better resumes you're going to find out there. You know, he's battled the Clips, Khan, you know, uh, all types, obviously, had a classic with Head Ice. I've done uh, a few, I think I've done top five Big K performances, if you guys want to check it out. JC, Ilmac, he's taken a bunch of high-profile uh, headliner type of performances. And if Shine was to come over, back over to RB, because obviously he's done the J Mills battle, um, but if he was to come back over, I think Big K just skill-wise is one of just the bigger matchups that you just think, all right, who are the best people that I haven't battled that I can battle right now? And Big K is just naturally going to be one of those names that pops up. Him and Rosenberg... Um, you know what I'm saying? That it, it could get tossed up. Who would get that plate? Maybe Roses, just because of the style, uh, the kind of that like hard rapping ability against each other. But I just think Big K, like I said, is is better. Therefore, the more difficult kind of matchup. And I would definitely tune in to watch uh, Big K versus K Shine. Even if others think it's a miscellaneous matchup, K can meet people up there. You know what I'm saying? Um, so that's why I have him at number three. And from there, we can get into the top two, which are, are special to me. These are the other ones. I like, but maybe they just fill in just because of name. But these are two matchups that I think are are great skill wise, are instant blockbusters that everyone will be on board with. So for the runner up, uh, I have K Shine versus Vixen the Assassin. K Shine obviously in his long Instagram ramp uh, shouted out at Remy Ma said I heard you got some plates over there Remy Chrome twenty three which obviously just booked a super mega matchup in Hitman versus Easy the Block Captain. So for Shine to shout out over there, uh, they've booked artists as well such as Rum the D and Av on the male side. They booked, I mean, obviously on the female side they brought Couture back, uh, you know, first card and have booked so many other big matchups since then brought qb back you know 40 versus qb and they booked vixen vixen uh vixen the assassin versus miss hustle so i think k shine versus vixen the assassin will be a perfect intergender matchup for any chrome 23 card maybe if not the anniversary card something uh you know down the line i just think vixen has proven especially after a tay rock battle on kings versus queens that she can hang with a high level performer up there when it comes to just producing haymakers controlling the stage and being explosive vixen has that it factor doesn't matter if you're man or woman she can hang with the best up there obviously battle jazz even though she lost clear i thought she was really good versus jazz just stood in front of one of the best performances of 2022 and one of the best female battle performances of all time and to, to go even farther just one of the best irving plaza big room performances ever in battle rap I think that she, even though coming off of that very explosive, you know, the losing side of that, I think she could battle with K-Shine. She could match the energy. And I just think she is a top tier. I just think that she is a top tier talent. And I think that she can go against other top tier talents. Not much of a storyline, but the intergender matchup is there for Chrome to book. And I think K-Shine and Vixen would be explosive and has uh, classic potential going in. And that leaves us with number one. To me, the match that is on my bucket list for 2023, one of the top five battles I want to see go down when you ask me my 2023 wish list. Uh, Skill-wise, one of the best in the world. And I, to me, is just easily, when Shine leaves, this is the guy he has to battle. And that's K-Shine versus A-Ward. A-Ward is obviously one of the best in the world right now. Um, this is coming from someone that, truthfully, there was a point that I was not the biggest, I wasn't very receptive of A-Ward. I didn't think that he would even reach the peaks Loso did, although I always knew he was talented. I didn't know if it would be, you know, top level. A-Ward is just one of the best doing it right now. I mean, he goes against the best uh, fairly consistently. Although he's not on URL, he still manages to get these big plates that uh, a lot of guys off of URL, it's it's hard to track people off. There's a lot of funniness. There's probably been funniness with battles that A-Ward's book, but even through that, he's gotten off two battles with Geechee Gotti. He's gotten off, uh, in my opinion, battle of the year of 2022 uh, going up against Rum Nitty. 
ill will uh another you know big battle he's taking he's gonna have big k coming up uh he's battled shotgun shug i mean the list goes on and on danny dna he's battled ilmac uh and even though might be a few of these that he lost doesn't matter it's the green is way more in the red in terms of his performance rate he also won a clear amount of these Gichi Gotti being one of them um he can hang you know what i mean it, there is no more you guys can debate it, people debate all the time the topic and it's such a tiring casual topic of a word on url not on url does that make his strength the schedule whatever i don't care this guy's great i think k shine knows that he's great He's gotten to watch a couple A-Ward battles. I know A-Ward versus Reed, he was right there in the crowd and obviously loved what he was doing. I think that he probably has respect for him. And when you get to that level of battle rap that a K-Shine is at, I think motivation has to be a big part of it. It's probably a big reason he didn't want to take the Jack Boy main plate. You know, he's prideful of his of his career, his legacy. And if he feels like someone's below him skill-wise or it's too easy, he simply just doesn't want to do that. And I think that A-Ward is someone that could really challenge him. Very all-around, approach-heavy base. So maybe not just going line for line with a guy, going against the guy that can beat you in a variety of different ways that you really have to plan out and give your all to uh and you earn strike you know anything that goes down to a ward battle i don't believe it's a uh, high risk low uh low reward or anything of that nature i think this is another big big talent a ward definitely gets eyes on him at, you know what i'm saying that the, there's always people that are coming to watch his battles that are focused in and also think that he's the best i just think it is a huge huge matchup that you could easily throw in any card in rbe gtx even if someone books it but in my opinion battle rap battle rap is the the best is the most fun when the best versus the best we do a lot of storylines and that's needed to the grudges you know working you know the optics but sometimes you just need one of the best versus one of the best and k-shine versus a ward is the pure definition of that and for me is a must-have battle in 2023 and that is uh, my full book em, booking plan, you know, wish list for K-Shine in 2023. You guys let me know down below in the comments. What do you think? Uh, do you agree that any of these are the best matchups? Is there one that I'm missing that you think would be an amazing matchup uh, for K-Shine if he leaves the brand? You know, let me know down in the comments below. I'm very excited. You know, rematches are something that I didn't touch on at all. Just because I try my best to do the most refreshing matchups. If you guys feel like there's a rematch, you know, don't be afraid to comment that. We're at this point with Shine where he's battled so many people. Uh, you know, maybe him and Ill Will, the first battle, you know, he kind of got smoked. He was choking. It was a weird feel. Uh, maybe, you know, a full rematch would be good on RBE, you know, with more energy than being better since the last time. You could throw any of those down there. I just think that K-Shine is too great of a talent to just be sitting this long. You know, no matter what the reason be contract-wise, we all want Shine battling. You know what I'm saying? This is one of the greats, one of the guys that when I look at a group, uh, I've always said, although, you know, the Luxes and the Mooks, those are always considered the top. Uh, the four guys that have made up, you know, I've watched for about a decade now, and just the era that I can say that really I always look at, I look at Rock, and surf and i look at geechee and nitty like those four for the newer age uh and obviously if you guys have done all-time videos i'm not saying they're just better than everyone but those are always like spearheads and i'm like those are always some of the best always active you know what i'm saying always outside or a big part of the landscape and k sign is really in that group for me you know when we talk that like youtube era and those guys that stick out as superstar talents shine is just too damn good to not be battling if he wants to be out here battling and i you know i try to pick some matchups here that i just thought would motivate him i know as i said in the video and as he's kind of said motivation is a big factor for him he doesn't just want to be battling anybody it wasn't with he doesn't want anybody determining his bag or his opponents and i think everyone here uh, for the most part is one of the bigger you know higher look names stock wise that could lead to a bigger bag off league as well as competition i believe almost everyone i mentioned here really everyone i mentioned here is good comp some better than others like i said you look at the vix and the a ward matchups i think those are superstar titans colliding type of matchups but you know just rambling on just really hoping to see more k shine active in 2023 um and yeah you guys let me know what you think down below the matchups like comment subscribe it's been jay small reviews again y'all i'm gonna catch you on the next one peace